Hello and welcome to More Gaming Fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here, and as you can see, we are in a brand new draft league for singles. We are doing the UGL draft. <clears throat> we got invited to this. We drafted some pretty cool mons, so let's go ahead and see how this goes. Alright, so I can't Volt Switch here. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Rune Regis, so he can't Volt Switch either. Let's go ahead and see what this Jolteon has. It actually goes Thunder Wave here, but doesn't affect us. And we'll go ahead and let's see what Pokemon it wants to go to here. He'll probably go to Feeny. Or Weezing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just get up our rocks. All right, Popo's withdrawed, uh, of course. Feeny's coming in. Ooh, shiny Feeny. Didn't expect to see that. But at least we get up our rocks. It'll probably defog as well in the next turn. Uh, probably defog, predicting a switch. So let's go ahead and... Well, we got a switch regardless. We're going to go to Big Fist Boy. No, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to Forest Fight. Good neutral ground play. I could have went Mel Metal, but I don't want to get a burn or nothing on it. Alright, so rocks are here. We get scalded. But Misty Terrain won't let us get burned yet. It can go Moonblast, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the Leaf Blade, get as much damage off as possible. Let's see if it decides to stay in here. So, so far we know it has Scald, uh, assuming it doesn't have... Okay, James comes in, that's the Weezing. Alright, so so far I'm assuming it doesn't have uh, Defog, since it didn't go Defog right out of the gate. All right, so James is in here. Let's go ahead and see. We do have Zen Headbutt. I don't know if it'll knock it out. And I honestly am not too worried about losing Brizzy on here. So let's go ahead and go for the Zen Headbutt, get some good damage off on this thing. Oh, and we miss. And it goes for Lewis, but we're protected by the mist. So free turn, I guess. I mean, that could have worked heavily in our favor, but we're just going to go for the Zen Headbutt again. It knows it's, it's, we're staying in. Oh, he's switching out. Goes to Slade here. So, getting more damage off on him. Didn't want to take that big hit there. That's fine. So now the mist is gone, so we do have to worry about, uh... We do have to worry about that now. Um, let's go ahead and go, uh, Tomb here, Rune Regis. And, uh, we should be able to live any hit and get the burn off, hopefully. Alright, so it's Swords Dance up in our face. So even with the burn, it's going to be uh, neutral, but at least we'll have the burn. Oh, knockoff. That might take us out. Wandering Spirit, at least Technician goes away. And yeah, Tomb Fainted. I couldn't see the HP bar there. Okay, so here he has priority. 
Um, let's just go ahead and go to JJ Watt here. Hopefully we can live a bullet punch. It is resisted. And we're just going to go ahead and go for the volt switch. It's not AV because it swords danced. So we'll see how this goes. Certainly taking his time here. He withdrew Slade. And Bojacked. Okay, yeah, so he's going Mudsdell here. So at least he's not Swords Dance in our face. But we did lose our defensive Mon to deal with it. So we're just going to go ahead and go to a Forest Fight here. No, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to Spider-Man here. Uh, actually, neither. Neither is a good idea. Mm. We're certainly in a predicament here. Either way, we can't switch moves. So let's go ahead and just go to a uh, forest fight for now. Alright, so Earthquake comes off. We take that very well. And now we're going to Swords Dance here. I'm assuming a switch. If he goes back to Scizor, we'll have a Swords Dance up. Judging from that, we took the uh, Earthquake rather well, so I'm sure we could take a Bullet Punch. And um, close combat, it you know probably go down to that due to the rocks. But either way, we are in a pretty decent position. We're not. I think the match is pretty balanced right now. Certainly taking his time though. And we are playing on uh, land format, so. Uh, what do you call it? Beyblade. Okay. So that thing comes in here. Not Intimidate. So it's Technician as well. It's probably going to fake out. And, um, let me see here. I need to check the rules real quick to see if we're allowed to Dynamax. Because I don't think we are. Battles. Yeah, we're banned. We can't Dynamax. So, we're going to have to take the flinch here. And go Zen Headbutt. Oh, he doesn't go for Fake Out. So, let's go ahead and get this Zen Headbutt off. And down goes Beyblade. Beautiful. Beyblade goes down to the Zen Headbutt. We didn't miss that time. Alright, he probably goes Scizor here. Because we could pretty much knock out any of his other teammates besides Jolteon. But we're resisted to his electric attacks. While he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and calc how much uh, damage a Jolteon can actually do to us. Yeah, Jolteon can't do nothing to us. And Scizor. Swords Dance. Goes down to a close combat here and bullet punch. Uh, bullet punch to uh, if it's I, I don't think it's life orb, so I don't know if that'll knock us out or not. I think it's a roll, so we're just gonna go ahead and click close combat here. 
Okay, so he does bullet punch. Okay, we live it. Close combat should take this thing out, no problem. Beautiful. So bullet punch was 43 to 51, and we were over 50. I'm not sure exactly how much over, but he would have needed the highest roll to take us out, if anything. And now, let's see if he has any priority on anything else. All right, Popo's definitely going to outspeed us, though. So, for sure, take us out here. What does he have in the back? He has the Mudsdale. We still have... We have Haxorus. How much does uh, Jolteon do to Haxorus? Alright, Haxorus. Ooh, Thunderbolt actually does quite a bit. Well, if that's if it's choice specs. I don't think it's choice specs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stay in here on the off chance he's a lower speed investment. Go for Leaf Blade. Okay, yeah, Thunderbolt. How much does it do to Mel Metal? Does about half to Mel Metal, but Double Iron Bash knocks it out. This will be a good scout to see if he's actually, uh, to see if he's actually, uh, specs or not. Because if he specs, he does well over 52%. But Double Iron Bash takes it out no matter what, so we're clicking it. It looks like it so far. Oh, yeah. He specs. So, good thing we didn't go to Haxorus there. But Double Iron Bash takes that thing down. So, that's one less Pokemon to worry about. Alright. How much do we do to Mudsdale here? Yeah, it's almost a... I mean, it's a two-hit KO. We'll have to live the Earthquake, and we should be faster than it. So at least we'll get the damage off. The damage off on it. And let's see what it does to Haxorus. Alright, I think... Uh, we go ahead and just double Iron Bash here. Go Haxorus, Dragon Dance, and win the game from there, I think. Oh no, it's faster than us. Interesting. So it's a max speed. Yeah, it's a max speed. Max speed Muzdo. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go Spider-Man here. Okay, so all he has left is Weezing... Tapu Fini and Mudzell, of course. I'm not too worried about uh, Bojack, really. I'm just going to go liquid. I need damage off on that Fini. Let's see what it decides to go to here. Goes to Misty. Okay. All right, and due to the Misty Surge, we cannot Toxic it. All right, Liquidation does a decent chunk. <sighs> Let's see here. Tapu Fini. To a... Braquinid. It does nothing. I'm just going to stay in and just keep hitting it with liquidation. Alright, so they seem not to know how misty, misty terrain works. 
and they got a defense drop so we're good to just keep going uh, liquidation here man that would have been cool if Verizion could have got that sweep there but sadly for us Oh, James does not take the liquidation well at all. And it's not going to do nothing to us, so we're going to just keep liquidationing here. Sludge Bomb does do a good amount of damage, but we're good. We're going to knock out the Weezing here. And I think uh, Spider-Man can finish off this team, really, as long as the Misty Terrain stays up. And if it doesn't, we get Toxic off, off ourselves. Which would help us out a lot, actually. So I'm kind of hoping Misty Train turn runs out a little bit. Okay, so he goes back to Misty here. Takes more rock damage. And... It's a roll. No, it's not. I think that's over 20, 25%. Well, let's just go for Liquidation. All right, so Moonblast comes off. Shouldn't do too much. That's fine. Liquidation. Oh, is that a crit? No. We just got a good roll. I guess it was un... That's weird. Maybe it's not defensive. All right, now we got Mudsdale here. And we're not faster than Mudsdale, so Earthquake could potentially knock us out. Actually, no. He's better off going, uh... He's better off going... Smackdown. We're just gonna go for liquidation, though. Oh, Rock Slide. Here we go. Do we live it? Oh, no. We go down to that. Alright. All comes down to this. We're going to go to Sam Max here. We're going to Swords Dance and try to two-hit KO it after that. So Swords Dance. It should break through the, def uh, the stamina boost as well. I don't know if that's an actual thing. Doubt it. I think it only goes through abilities, not stat changes. But all right, we're plus two. Earthquake comes off. How much does this do? Does over half. And now we're going to go for the close combat. Oh, it almost takes it out. That's not good for us, though. Because now it's going to take us out for sure with the Earthquake. And now it's all up to, uh, dang it, we lost. <laughs> it's all up to see if we can take it out with, uh, what do you call it? With extreme speed. Um, I need to know if explosion kills me first or him first. I'm just going to go for the extreme speed. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to lose. I mean, I'm going to lose regardless, but at least this way we had a chance. <laughs> 
Well, GG for week one. We are 0-1. Uh, was hoping we'd uh, do a little better than that, but it is what it is. And that's it for week one. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week.